Well, good morning. Welcome to the Rustic Log Cabin. This is Sunday of uh, uh, deer season. Just opened yesterday, so I'm up here at the cabin. But first things are first. Uh, I've got a problem with my wood stove, and with with uh, winter knocking on the door, it's time to get the stovepipe changed out. So I thought you might be interested in that. The stovepipe has been in this cabin for a little over 10 years. It has finally burned out. <laughs> when I say burned out, it is burned out. I pushed it through last winter because, you know, when it's 10 below zero, you kind of don't really want to be changing stovepipes out. You got to let the stove go completely out and all of that. So it's, I felt it was better to wait and I made it through the winter. But while the stovepipe has been sitting here this summer, it has holes in it now that you can stick your fist through. So there is no way that I can use that stovepipe this winter. So grab a cup of coffee, let's get this stovepipe changed. And I'll walk you through as much as I can, how I do it anyways. It, uh, they don't make stovepipe easy to work with, let's put it that way. It would be much nicer if it came already assembled. <laughs> All right, so these are the pots that I need for my new chimney. But first things are first, we've got to have a cup of coffee. Now I bought these pots years ago, thank goodness. I bought them for another stove that I didn't install. prices are extremely high now. I just bought two of these for the other cabin and it cost me $15 a piece. I don't know what I paid for these but I know it wasn't $15 a piece. I need three pieces for this chimney. I need two whole ones and I need a partial. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got two pieces left. So now what I'm gonna do is bring you in and show you the chimney I'm replacing, the stove pipe I'm replacing. It is gone. The other thing I need is a six inch damper. I'm not sure if you can see in there. <laughs> that's a whole this whole that's why I brought you in I don't think it's gonna stay together this right here is a hole another hole we got a big hole growing over here up here is good down here this pipe is burned out so we'll see if we can get it out of there now without making too much of a mess of the cabin That's a burned out stovepipe. It wasn't that bad last winter. What happened was over the summer setting, 
uh, condensation, moisture, everything else that's in the in the chimney. It just finished rotting it out this year, so. Now I got a new damper, but this one is still probably good. I only got a new one because why not? So we'll put this on a nail. You never know. Someone might need a damper, or maybe even a fish house might need a damper. But that's 10 years old. And the stovepipe is toast. Now the easiest way that I've found to do this, you gotta get this side of the pipe inside of here. <laughs> sometimes it goes good, sometimes it doesn't. But try to get it lined up best you can. Now I got a broken finger so that's not helping, but then you push down. Push down and squeeze. And then slap it. There's two of them. Now, the third one I gotta cut to length, so we'll start out with this here. So what we gotta do now is get this. I like to put the seam to the back of the stove. Now this next part's gonna be a little hard to show on camera, but this is gonna go inside of that pipe. Like I said, I like the seam to be to the back of the stove. So you start out by taking this thing apart. And I take everything off it because you don't need to have it on there for right now. And you want to get this spring out of the way. Then you need to eyeball what you think is center. I think that's about center. So then what you're going to do is you're going to tap. And that's just to make a little pilot hole for the drill. In case you didn't see that, that's just to make a little pilot hole for the drill. Okay, so we've made our pilot hole. That just helps the drill. Now this is where it's really important. I probably won't be able to show it on the camera. Too good anyways. But you gotta make sure that that rod is centered in there. It's centered and, and pretty straight. And you do that by looking at it from out here as well as inside. And once you've got it so you think it's pretty straight and centered, then you smack it again. And see that? Come out through the other side. So then you can come over. And this right here is when you tell <laughs> if you see how we're going to do that. I'm going in from this side because I want the damper on this side of the stove. And then once you stick this in here is when you'll tell how straight you got it. <laughs> Whoop. Here's when you put these pots back on. See? Whoa, 
lot of this I can't show you. <laughs> You're kind of going by feel. You want to get it back down in all them holes on the damper. Yeah. Yeah, and then you push it all the way in, hold on to your damper, and you push this in. And then that locks it back into place. Yeah. Now see, I'm pretty, by being straight, hope you can see in there, <laughs> by being straight, the damper works good. The pipe is a little out of round, but that's all right. She'll come around. So that part's done. So now what I need to do is, uh, number one, put this piece on it. I take two pieces in there. I will assemble this all out here. Just because it's easier sometimes. But see how this pipe is out around? And you gotta get it round as possible. Yeah, and my seams, they, they don't line up and they never will, but at least they're on the back of the stove. So I'm looking at this right here. And how mine is, because I wanted to set back from the wall, mine goes over with a couple of elbows and then straight up. So now, this is when I got to go measure that other piece. I need a, I, if I remember right, it was about a foot.
There's a bunch of sharp edges right here that will bite you. So it takes just a couple of seconds here to run around that with a file. They're burrs, see right there? They're burrs left over from that cutter. That's the last piece, hopefully. So we'll go install that. For the end of this video, I'm going to put some. Uh, I'm going to put some links to some videos along the same thing: uh, off-grid living, uh, how to be self-reliant. What do you do when the shit hits the fan? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> At the end of this video, I'm going to put some clips in on this off-grid cabin and the lifestyle that I've chosen here. And what would you do uh, when the crap hits the fan and, and just what's your ideas on it? And what's my ideas on it? Uh, my content in this channel is all about how to and a teaching channel on how to live off the grid and how to live out in the bush. And I will see you in the next one.